an extraordinary athlete. He's preparing for his next bout under master fight trainer Johnny Lewis. But the real battle for Hardman has been his comeback from shocking injuries in an accident more than a decade ago. 1996 was a year that changed Brett Hardman's life forever. At the time, he was a talented young Penrith Panthers rugby league junior with dreams of playing at the highest level. That vision turned sour for Brad and a group of friends one tragic evening. Well, I was 15 at the time. Um, five of us in the car were 15 years old. Um, we hit, we're driving up the road, we hit this telegraph pole and it actually split in half the car. Um, the, the police officer said the speedo got stuck at about 200 kilometres an hour on the speedo. Split the car in half. I was in the middle of the back seat of passenger and my mate on the right hand side, uh, Robbie, he died virtually on the scene. Brad was left with a fractured pelvis and his left leg amputated from the knee down. With his football and boxing dreams dashed, the young teenager turned to alcohol and was in a dark place. At the time, I just didn't care about anything. Like, yeah, I just, I just, you know, out of the world, I guess. And, you know, like, you know, it was sort of just a period where I just went from here straight to the bottom. I just didn't care. I was getting into fights anywhere from Sydney, Central Coast, out west. I didn't, nightclubs, any nightclubs didn't bother me. But there was a turning point for Brad. Got to a point when I had my first, uh, when the first trouble come along. Um, I thought, I can't, you know, I can't live like this, so I have to sort of try to set, set an example. Another saving grace for Brad was his love of sport. There's no denying Brad's passion for boxing has given him an inner strength. Something noticed by master boxing trainer Johnny Lewis. I've never ever once encountered that he felt sorry for himself. Um, you know, his maturity, his discipline, dedication, determination, it's, it, it was of the highest levels. And any young kid that, that is, uh, wants to achieve, I think Brad's the greatest role model that we could have in this country. Brad's next bout on April 13th will take him back to Windsor, the area where he played junior football, dreamed of playing in the big time, and just up the road from the venue is the scene of that accident that changed so many young lives. The tough boxer won't just be fighting for himself, but all those who have helped him find his way back and those he inspires. That's all in sport, and that ever defers.